Hi, everyone. Welcome to another SE Tip of the Week. Uh, my name is Ivan Diaz. I'm going to be focusing on bug snag and specifically issue tracker integrations today. So if you've used bug snag before, you understand how important issue trackers can be. Those are tools like Linear, Asana, GitHub, Issues, Jira. And today we're going to focus on Jira because that's the most common one that we see people integrate using bug snag. So once you find a defect that needs to be resolved, you're going to create a ticket. Um, folks will then start interacting with that ticket. And maybe if there's a regression detected, we're going to reopen those things. So we want to show you some of the automations between bug snag and Jira and how we can keep those things in sync in a way that's pretty effortless for you. So if I go straight into our integration settings, um, you're going to see that we support dozens of different issue trackers and we've created uh, many different integrations for Jira. So because we understand that there are scrum teams, there's different pods, everybody's a bit distributed these days, even when they're contributing to the same code base, you need to be able to create these multiple integrations so that things go to the right boards and there's not another manual step to kind of proxy the ticket to the right place. So we're illustrating that using this release engineering uh, integration that we've set up. So to show you how we go about creating one of these integrations, it's really easy. Uh, we have a app in the Atlassian marketplace that allows you to authenticate yourself really fast. And then you set up your project key, your issue type, and then the things that are helping with routing are components and custom fields. So those are the things I would recommend tuning if I want things to go to the right place. Once we've got that set up, we have some automation. So being able to create issues automatically, uh, our two-way sync, we're going to start with the two-way sync and then get back to some of the automations around ticket creation. So I've enabled some of the simpler and more common ones here. So if we look at the bottom one, marking a bug snag error is fixed when a linked issue transitions to a specific state. That's super common. All that's saying is really once you're done with something in Jira, once it's been released or it's pending release, you may want to go ahead and close that in bug snag. If you don't have this automation enabled, it requires somebody to remember after all of the work that they've done to go back in the error reporting tool and to close that out. So we want to make that seamless and easy, and that's what this option is here for. The other one I see really commonly is going to be this top option where when a bug snag error marked as fixed is reopened. So when we detect a regression in bug snag, the issue in JIRA is going to be reopened as well. Um, in this case, I've got it set up to reopen with a state of regression. So it just depends on your workflow. You get to set these up however you like. The next thing I wanted to show is going to be creating issues when a threshold is reached. I think for most production apps, doing a new issue for each new error that comes up is going to be a bit noisy. Uh, definitely for things that are in active development, that's not a bad idea. But for production applications, we may want to enable something like creating an issue when a certain threshold is reached. And depending on the type of application, we're going to look at events or impacted users. What I see more commonly is impacted users. And folks might do something like saying, hey, if there's a set of errors that have happened to 10 users in three hours, we need to go ahead and create a ticket for that because that is kind of the, our threshold of comfort. And that means that something's clearly wrong. So given that we are solving for this release engineering use case and we care most about new issues, things that are happening in our latest release. We've skipped over the basic filters and we're using our advanced filters. So if you haven't used uh, bug snag for that long or you're unaware of the value of bookmarks, bookmarks are these saved searches, these saved fil filters that you get to create in our dashboard and then use them in other places. One of them being here when configuring a JIRA integration. I had already created one of these bookmarks. It's pinned to our latest release and it's looking for newly introduced errors for that release in production. So what this would do is when that threshold of 10 users is reached in three hours for a new error that's popped up, we're gonna automatically create a ticket for that so that somebody can immediately begin investigating it. So some simple and easy things that you can set up to save you a bit of time with our issue tracker integrations. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you on the next tip of the week. Thanks, bye.